Right, welcome to another Model Railways Lucky Dip. This week I've got Bobby helping, <laughs> haven't we Squirt? <laughs> so please, the first item. What have you picked? Is it just five random things this time? Yeah, yeah, because a lot of the characters, you can know, because they're all the same. <laughs> Same colour and things, so you oh, sort of, okay. this is what you're getting. It is what it is. Is it blue? No. No, I know what that is. <laughs> right. I really like this loco. It's what is air, it? It's an Airfix X Great Western 1400 class. Got this, that's um, before we did YouTube at the Doncaster Model Railway Exhibition, believe it or not. Oh, that was some time ago then, it wasn't was it now? some time ago. I think I paid 20 quid. Um, nothing wrong with the condition at all. So this was one of the first Airfix models. I'm not sure when it came out, I'd say 77, 78. But just look at the detail on that, how old it is. Look at all the extra pipes that have been added and stuff. Really it came nice, with it, isn't it? Even down near the wheels. You know, it's got all the sand on the track and everything. All separate little bits. Oh, nice. Compared to Hornby Locos of the time, the quality difference is amazing. I mean, look at this, a little grab oh. handle there on the roof. Look. See it? Oh. And all these are all separate and this is from the 70s. Look at all this. You don't get, you didn't get them on anything else back then. It just but shows you, doesn't it? It was never a good runner. Oh. But it is now. Oh. It, you you fix it or yeah, well, what was the issue? Look at the wheels for start. The arrangement. I think one of these was in the Titfield Thunderbolt, you know. Oh, really? Where it ran across the road. Oh, right. Track, yeah. Or a mock-up of one, anyway. So I've took the traction tyres off, so it really can't pull much there, apart from, you know, three or four wagons. <laughs> Why did you shake them off? Because it pivoted on them. I could have put, you know, small the newer ones on, but I couldn't be bothered. So it now runs absolutely fine. Oh, okay. And they're not wrong. It's just known for to being it? good runs. Well, fast enough, isn't it? Uh, seeing it's sliding a bit yeah. there. <laughs> but I really don't mind because I'm never going to put a big load on it anyway. Hornby still make this, but they've updated it now for their things. But it looks like, say, it's got a lot of additions to it, so it mm. looks really good, doesn't it? They were Very all like detailed. That. You know, the Airfix models are really good. It weren't the best motors, but this is actually quite nice. Mm. 20 quid, can't complain. Oh, bargain as well. But yeah, I couldn't pull the skin off a rice pudding though. <laughs> but I can always put newer tyres on. Okay. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Nicely across the pipes. Talking of Airfix, another one. Oh, is this an Airfix? Yeah, it's in the wrong box. Oh, there you go then. I bought this off a chap. It's not actually a shop, it was just a chap we met at um, one of the railways who um, was selling a load of stuff off. Oh, right. So, bang, How bang. long ago? Uh, five years, something like that. So this is the Airfix Class 31, also featured in our recent video. Oh, that, oh, that oh, one so. might have been a homely one, yeah. See, what you notice about this is, it looks pretty nice. Fake wheels. <gasps> Fake. Look. Yeah. That's Fake what let wheels, it down back look. then. And not only are they fake, you've got chrome. Quite on, heavy. Yep, you've got chrome on the back, and black plastic on the front. Why? I have no idea. This was actually the first loco that was made for Airfix, which they sold. They did sell an HO Wild West set. Yeah. That loco was actually a Backman one. This was the first official Airfix one. And basically, it's a copy of the Triang 31, which is, looks exactly the same. And at the toy show, where they were previewing the Airfix range, their models weren't ready in time. So they got the, the Triang Hornby one and scrubbed the name off the bottom and used that as the demo. <laughs> Can I just say? Yeah. This is very noisy. All right, okay. Um, not all of them are. But this and one. also it's worn, so it sits a little bit down at that end, the things I've got inside. Oh, right. So it can be fixed. It, it, it sounds like a um, cement I think you, you... It needs warming up. 
Yeah, that's too low though, it needs adjusting. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason we don't use this one. Food blender motor in it, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. But if you actually have a look at it, it's a big old, that's metal that thing. Big uh. old heavy motor in. Yeah, I, but I do like it. Um, Uncle Harry's got a blue one. Like. Is he silent? Really? Yeah. <laughs> it hadn't been looked after. It was caked in grime, so and it didn't work. So I took it apart from him and got it going. Yeah? Yeah. And it's absolutely silent. So and you, like, you've no, got one. <laughs> I love the 31 though. It's one of the first, you know, British diesels, I think. One of the first successful ones, you know, they were made a lot of them. Right. And I just love them. Mm. I think they're absolutely fantastic looking loco. Cool. But I must say the real ones aren't as noisy as that. I don't know if you can tell from this what it is. Shaky, shaky. Lots of bits. Mm. Yeah. We did try and use this in a video. It was, I, I weren't sure if it was this one or not. Yeah. It was just a nightmare, wasn't it? It just wouldn't well, do we, we what it, Yeah, we did. It wasn't through lack of trying, though. And um, maybe if we ever had a couple of days and that losing the had, will to live. I had one of these as a kid. It took yeah, me two but minutes to I'm set sure up. I'm sure you've got something similar. That, have you got another one of these? Or Yeah, it's the older one. The blue. I'm not even going to get this out. Of yeah, box. but it works really well, the older one. I'm sure we've had one working. So it's an LMS. Yeah, but look how beautiful it is. Oh, it is beautiful. You look think? at it. Yeah, I, I think it's lovely. What? What's I don't know. I, I, lo I love the colour. I love the maroon, signage. Yeah. We've got loads it's, of stuff in that colour. I know, but I just, I do. I think it's lovely. I don't, I don't know why. I just do. I think it's just really, really nice. And I just think it's such a shame that. Well, I know why you love it. We couldn't get the damn thing to work. Because if they were still using it, you'd have all your blooming stuff you live in your clothes that you send back, wouldn't you? I don't know what he's talking about. It's a boohoo. <laughs> yeah. Right boohoo on the <laughs> side. Yeah, it looks nice. It's um, it's LMS. You can get other coaches in the same livery, you know, same size to make up a full tray. We, we do need to get some of those. I mean, it is good. It just... Oh, it's right. You know me, I, lo I love things that do things, but... We tried for so long to get it but to I work. But I had one exactly the same, but it and was And it worked fantastic. Great. When it was new, and it would, it would regularly get used. So I don't know why we're having issues with that. All right, let's try another You one. know, can I just say? Yeah? He's not barks at the postman for once. <laughs> I don't like the postman. You ready? Yeah. There like we that. go. I bet it's a brake van. No. Oh, it's... Not bad. It's another oh. colour. Oxford Rail, little wagon. It doesn't say which one it is. Our Taylor and Sons four plank wagon. Our Oxford Rail, I think they're wagons, well, everything rolling stock wise is such good value. It's always cheaper than the Backman or Hornby. And it's just as well detailed, if not better in some cases. However, Oxford Rail are owned by Hornby. Oh, well, what's all oh, right? Boss, and we've got large interest anyway. Right. This is really nice. May I? Can I just show Certainly. it? Certainly. So it has got metal wheels, they're just painted white. Um, look at these little bits there. All separate, you see them? Oh, right, these tiny little things. I think they're the, the hinges, aren't they, for the, the opening on the end? I've never noticed that flag thing there before. Oh. Nice little wagon, however, it does have a habit of coming apart. You see these here? See all the separate? Show sure everyone else. It's the little brake things on the side have a habit of popping out of the, the hole there. Apart from that, it's absolutely fine. Yeah, really nice wagon. I like that. Yeah. Let's get some more Oxford Rail. Does seem nice. Oops. It is very good at free wheeling. It's really nice, isn't it? We've not right. got Shoxford Rail stuff, but four or five bits. Is that everything? No, last but not least. Is it mainline? It is. Is it red? Is it blue? Oh, Brown. upside down. 
this is a... We, Do you know why I picked this? It's got a stripe on it. Well, it's got it's the most boring thing I've seen in a while. So I thought, because you know me, I, lo I, I love my novelties and I thought, well, let's see what he can do with this. This is a standard British rail wagon. Okay. They were on everything. You know, as, as the private owner ones disappeared, and people oh, were right. using these steel wagons. This was bought. This is a great little <laughs> wagon, isn't it? I need to get some more of those, isn't it? Not the, not the same colour, but... This was bought at the Canforth exhibition. We've done a video there, check it out. And it's got a load. Oh. Oh, that's not so boring, is it? <laughs> And it came with look it. At it. It's actually, not even got a name on them, anything. It's because it's just um, British Railways wagon. Oh, okay. After the private owner ones. So yeah, steel. That white stripe is to signify where it's end it opens at. Oh, right, okay. So if you do look there, you can see the door there, but you can't at that. Ah, oh, I see. So it's saying it's mainline, but it's got metal wheels. Do mainline not do metal wheels? Um, not, I'm not aware of them doing these ones, but it's not an X Airfix one because it's got the mainline cupping. I can only assume somebody's put different wheels on it. Oh, right, okay, fair enough. I don't know why I've never used this. Back in the day, in, in the 50s and 60s, you'd see a whole train with dozens of these running behind and nothing else. Right. So we need to get some more of these. That's just cardboard, though. Of the it. boring ones. But they were just so um, ubiquitous, you just need to have them running. A load of them. I think we've got some Hornby ones. Yeah, it's a big size difference there, isn't there? So that's steel. Well, there is when you look at them. I mean, I just, what I had noticed was so many planks. Well, when... that's planks because it's made of wood. This is a steel mineral coal wagon. Oh, right, okay. So. The more the planks, does it mean the thick, the deeper they are, or...? Just how many? It's a four plank wagon. Yeah. So you've got one, two, three, four planks. Oh, right, okay. So, 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 it's so many a... different sizes, that's how, that's what it's classified as. Right, okay. That's fine. That's what I didn't know. But yeah, they are. Who's that one? So you can see. You sort of see the difference in size. Yeah, that was that was a little bit boring, so I thought I'd see if I can catch him out and see if he's got anything he can say about it. <laughs> mean, I know. It was only six quid as well. Thank you. Right. Thanks for that, Pauline. <laughs> Interesting choices. Um, that 31's just looking, it's listing like the bloody Titanic at the end there. <laughs> a lot of them do that, they just wear inside. See it there. Oh, it can you do there. anything to fix it? You can, yeah. I never noticed it was that bad. In fact, Matt, Matt I'm, I'm going out. No, actually, the next time we do it, I'm going to pick the items and you have to talk about them. That'll be blue. It's got wheels. Yep. On that bombshell, <laughs> thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video. <laughs>